Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and I'm coming at you with my 2015 favorites. I've decided to split this video up into three parts just because I have so much stuff. So this first video is going to be the skin hair care video. The next video is gonna be cosmetics and then I have like a last kind of bonus one of just five electronic items I've been really into this year. So yeah, let's just get started into my skincare. I'm gonna start off with face stuff, body stuff, and then hair stuff. Here we have the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. And this has just been my favorite way to take off my makeup all year long. I think I've even started using this last year. I just think this in conjunction with a muslin cloth really breaks down the makeup and gets it off your face. I've actually tested it out where I used a regular makeup wipe and then used this one afterwards and I still saw a bunch of makeup on the muslin cloth, especially now that I'm starting to use a bit heavier foundations. You definitely need something to really break these things down. I know this might seem like a bit of a pricey product to purchase just to take off your makeup, but it is really important uh, to take off all your makeup before you go to bed if you have sensitive skin or you have acne prone skin like myself. So to me, the price is definitely worth it. This next product is the Time Revolution, the first treatment essence by Misha. And I really dove into Korean skincare this year, especially this line by Misha. Um, I still regularly use a couple of the products from this line. And this essence actually has the same ingredients as the SK2 essence, but is a fraction of the cost. What I found since I started using this line is that my skin was a lot less moody. Um, a lot of times in the winter time, my skin will get really dry patches and in the summertime just like be very oily but I think this helps balance out the skin a bit so I use this twice a day still um, almost done with the bottle but this thing has definitely lasted me a super long time my favorite serum of the year is the Sunday Riley good jeans treatment I started using this serum because I heard it was really good for hyperpigmentation um, at the time I was getting some really weird acne on my cheeks and on my chin I was just kind of getting really weird spots of acne. Even after they healed, the dark spot would just be there for so long. And no lie, the week that I started using this, the dark spots started fading. I think it's because it is a lactic acid treatment, so it helps break down that skin. But yeah, this stuff actually works. Honestly, if you have dark spots that you are concerned about, maybe look into this one because it really did help my skin. In the past few months, I've really been getting back into the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5, this is a really great moisturizer. I don't know if it's supposed to be a daily moisturizer, but I use it twice a day. Um, I first started using this a few years ago because I was having some issues with some eczema on my body. And then, uh, what was it, a couple months ago, I went to Montreal and I just really wanted to find a moisturizer that was good for cold weather because my skin just tends to be very affected by different temperatures. So I started using this and my skin really got along with it. So yeah, I'm not sure if you are really supposed to use this every day on your face, but I have been. And the interesting thing about this particular moisturizer is that it has antibacterial agents. So perhaps this is also something that might have been helping me with my acne because there's a certain point after I came back from Iceland where I had no breakouts and that was just incredible because Honestly, no matter what, I usually have like one or two, even just little ones or just one like big one on my face. When I came back from Iceland, I had no breakouts and ever since then, I still haven't had any breakouts. Knock on wood. It's been pretty tight because I've never experienced this before in my life. So I'm not sure if this is part of it, but it could very well be part of it. Um, it is quite a thick moisturizer though, if you have really oily skin, but honestly, I have found no issues with that and I will definitely continue to use it. I have two body products that I've been very committed to this year, and here I have the Alafia Authentic African Black Soap in the Eucalyptus Tea Tree Scent. That's been my favorite one, although I've used, I think, three of the other scents. They're all pretty good. I do have sensitive skin, so I have to be careful about the products that I put on my body. Like, they can't have any synthetic scents or anything. I'm just really careful about that. And I've also dealt with some body acne over the years, like on my chest and on my back. And um, yeah, since I started using this, I don't have any body acne issues and I don't have any dry patches. Usually they're on like my legs. This plus the next product I'm gonna talk about, like those two together make my bod real happy. So I'm not gonna be changing it up anytime soon. You can find this at Whole Foods, any health food store. I get mine off of drugstore.com. Um, yeah, if you're looking for something for your sensitive skin, 
that won't irritate it, you could try this one out. Here we have the Desert Essence 100% Pure Jojoba Oil. I've talked about this a bunch before. I've been using it for at least six or seven years on my body. This is what I put on after I get out of the shower. If you have any body sensitivities, I would recommend trying out jojoba oil because I was using like Eucerin and a bunch of those other creams and lotions that a dermatologist would recommend, um, but they never really helped my skin out. Like it obviously soothed it while I was putting it on, but I think this really gave my skin some like longevity in terms of being balanced. Look into this if you might have any of those kind of issues. Moving on to hair products, here I have the Caviar Replenishing Moisture Shampoo by Alterna. This brand is really great. Um, I have two products in this list actually from Alterna. I just found that it's really, really great for colored hair. I think it might be difficult for some people with sensitive scalps to also find a shampoo that's really great for color treated hair, but here we have it, all in one. You should go out and uh, check it out. This is the second alternate product that I was talking about. This is the Rehab Deep Hydration Mask. And when you have such color treated hair as I do, you definitely need to use masks all the time. I've tried a bunch over this year, and this is one I have repurchased twice now. What's really great about this deep conditioner is that you can really feel that it penetrates your hair uh, even after you get out of the shower and your hair is dried. Your hair just feels so much softer compared to other deep conditioners. There's an actual difference. So yeah, I will not be parting from this particular deep conditioner for quite some time. If a deep conditioner is enough for you, you can also use an overnight hair mask, which is what I do at least once a week. And this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. You just pump some into your hand, put it into your hair, put your hair up in a bun and sleep in it. And yeah, I try to do this at least once a week or every week and a half. And it just really, again, penetrates your hair, really conditions it. When you wash this out the next day, you can really feel the moisture has been locked into your hair again. I guess maybe I'm very sensitive to it because my hair is so dry when I feel like it is moisturized, there is a really big difference. So yeah, if you're having extremely dry hair problems, you can try this thing out. The last product in this list is a product I've been very committed to for the past few years, and this is the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. At least the last two years, um, this is my favorite dry shampoo of all time, and I've tried out a lot of different dry shampoos. It's just one of those powder ones, so there's a little hole up top, and you need to sprinkle it onto your scalp and rub it in. It's good to try and put it in in layers, just like a spray one. But what I found with spray dry shampoos is that it really, in the end, just weighs my hair down and kind of makes my hair look a little more greasy than just a powder. It kind of makes sense with the powder you put in there and it really absorbs the grease and the oil, which I have a lot of up on this head of mine. A little ball like this lasts a super long time. I use it practically every day. Yeah, couldn't live without this. Okay, that concludes my hair, body, face products of 2015. If you like this video, please subscribe. You can stay with me into 2016. And the other videos should be up shortly or will already be up as you're watching this. So like I said, I'm gonna have a whole video on cosmetics and then another one on electronics. So look out for those. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.